stopping by. My name is Holla Beck. Today I thought I would get into the spring spirit and I want to show you three DIYs. Since the move, I've been trying to organize things in the apartment, buy new furniture, kind of create an actual theme instead of just a bunch of random furniture. And part of that is I want to get more green into my apartment. I want there to be life. <laughs> With the being spring, it is a perfect time to get plants and I want to create cute little planters for them because they deserve a good home. So I have two cute little planter ideas that I'm going to show you guys, and then I'll end the video with a delicious Easter treat. So let's get started. So I just recently picked up these three beautiful guys here, and of course they're going to need proper homes because right now they're just in this weird plastic container, which is not okay. So I already had an idea for one planter, and so I stopped by Dollar Tree where everything is a dollar, and I ended up finding these guys. So this is kind of what I was thinking, I wanted like a plain white mug. But I was hoping more for a teacup, but you know, for a dollar you take what you can get. So I have two of them here, and I think I'm going to paint cute little faces on them, so this is going to be like the easiest DIY ever. By the way, I have a problem because I attach myself to things way too easily, and I've already named them, so when they die, I will cry. And they will die. So in case you were curious, this one here is Theodore. And the twins are Jim and Jem. So cute! So because I don't plan on putting these outside, I'm not going to worry about putting like a clear coat over what I paint. If you are going to put these outside, definitely put a clear coat on so your paint doesn't fly away. <laughs> So I have two paintbrushes here, some black paint, and some pink paint, and I think that should be all I need. I want to do some cute little, little like anime faces on them. So why don't I start with the mouth first on one of these, and then I'll draw the outline in black. This is the worst possible way to try and paint something. <laughs> For the record, I do have plenty of paint palettes, I'm just too lazy to get them. That actually turned out kind of cute. <laughs> so I'm going to use my phone and get a close-up for you guys. <laughs> How cute. So I'm going to work on the other one. I'll let you guys kind of see as I go. And I will show you the finished results, plants and all, afterwards. The last DIY was super easy, I know, but this one I'm a little concerned about. It's going to be pretty difficult. So I hope you're ready for a challenge. So I had the idea of taking a light bulb and somehow suspending it in another dish. So I have a mason jar here, and basically this is what I'm going for. You, you, you feel me? So I've already hollowed out this light bulb. This is a very tricky process, so I'm going to look at... Lick. I'm gonna lick a video. I'm gonna link a video down below that actually helps me a lot to do this. So check it out if this looks like something you would like to try yourself. I also have here some twine and essentially this is kind of how I'm gonna put everything all together. So wish me luck. Do you believe in me Theodore? Oh boy do I! You're so supportive. I'm gonna work really hard not to kill you. So I suppose first we should probably work on the suspending apparatus. So I think kind of what I'm picturing in my mind is a ring of twine and then little bits of twine coming out around the sides. If you don't know what I'm talking about yet, that's okay. Hopefully in a second here you'll see what I'm getting at. Alright, so I kind of have my base here and I'm gonna nestle this like right in the center. And then I'm going to have strings, probably, I'm thinking three is going to be enough. I'll have three strings coming up on either side. So this is kind of what I have so far. And I have to find a way to kind of tie it off, probably at the top. So that's actually not awful. <laughs> but here's where my real concern comes in. If you notice, it's not a real big opening at the top, so I'm a little concerned 
because I'm not going to be able to fit all of Theodore in here, clearly. So I do have um, another planter ready. So as you guys may have already briefly saw, I did pick up specifically a jar of stones. Why can't I think of that? So I have a little jar of stones here, and I couldn't tell you the exact reason, but I think it has to do with helping the water drain so you're not like flooding your plants. So I'm going to put a little bit of stones in here, just so if this arm transplant works, I'm not drowning it. Alright, Theodore, cross your stems. Ooh, look at those roots, Theodore. Doing this in my living room, probably not the best idea. That was very stressful, and I'm really hoping that it wasn't too stressful for my poor Theodore. So I got his main body in the big planter here, and I got one of his little arms in the bulb, so we're getting closer. <laughs> Jordan! I'm making a mess! I'll clean it up. No, I'll clean it up. Look at little Theodore. Nice. He's so handsome in his little pot. And I peeled off one of his arms and I put it in here. Uh. <laughs> well, I couldn't fit his whole body. What do you think? Are they cute? That is adorable. <laughs> Alright guys, so here it is so far. Um, really, really, really nervous about the arm. I don't think it's going to make it because his roots are just kind of chilling on the top. And because the opening's so small, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. It's like just big enough I can put water in it occasionally, uh, but otherwise, mm, it's probably not going to make it. But I have it suspended so far, I just have to tie off the arms, and that should probably be it. And here is the finished product. This actually kind of turned out better than I thought it would. <laughs> I wanted to make some delicious sugar cookies, but I always like a challenge, so I thought today I would try and make a vegan sugar cookie recipe. So here are all the ingredients that you will need. You will need one cup of flour, one fourth cup of mashed apple, one fourth cup of white sugar, two tablespoons brown sugar, one fourth cup olive oil, a half teaspoon baking soda, a half teaspoon baking powder, one fourth teaspoon salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of almond milk, and a half tablespoon of cornstarch. So starting with all of our dry ingredients, we're gonna mix together the flour, both sugars, salt, baking soda, baking powder, and the cornstarch. And mix it all together. Well, I've got the dry ingredients all mixed together, so now we gotta add all the wet stuff. So we're gonna add in our mashed apple, our olive oil, our vanilla extract, and our almond milk. So I have my dough here, finally, and I think this actually turned out to be a pretty good consistency, so I'm pretty pleased. So now I'm going to grab two sheets of wax paper, and I'm going to roll out the dough between the two. The dough's kind of sticky, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on top. So we're all rolled out and ready to go. So I have four cookie cutties here. I have two different flowers. I have a cute little butterfly and an itty bitty little bunny. So I'm going to cut these out, put them on a baking sheet. I already have the oven preheated to 350 and we're going to bake these guys for, let's start with eight minutes and see how that goes. And here they are finished. I decided to decorate them with a little bit of cookie icing. They don't look perfect but they look all right and there are a couple that are kind of cute so they look good but we still have to test them to see if they turned out like a proper sugar cookie so let's give them a taste it's actually pretty good it's interesting it almost turned out like a flat biscuit but it's very sweet so is it exactly like a sugar cookie no but it tastes really really good so give them a try and that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And I will see you guys the next time around.